you have a couple of books that become movies, and they become movies that people like. Uh, and you know, a movie like even Election was so. It helped kind of bring a resurgence, I thought, to a certain kind of indie filmmaking. A little children, same idea. Um, when you start writing books now, knowing what they could turn into, do you have to shut that voice off in your head? Yeah, yeah, I absolutely do. And and because it doesn't get me anywhere. I was writing a book called Joe College, and uh, you know, people in in Hollywood were saying, "Oh, everyone wants to read Joe College." You know, you're writing a college comedy. That's great. And they thought they knew, you know, they knew what a college comedy was. And the book that I was writing was comic, and it was about college, but it wasn't a college comedy, yeah. and it never got made as a movie. When I was writing Little Children, like, you know what? This is not a movie. Um, you know, kid. <laughs> they, you know they, the characters are, are unlikable. There's a pedophile. It's an ensemble cast. It's very dark. Um, and I said, that's fine. You know, I'm, I'm writing my book. But then Todd Field, the filmmaker, said, I really love this book. I want to make it into a movie. And suddenly it became a movie. So there's just no sense trying to second guess or to try and engineer your work so that it might become a movie. I know the, 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 the good public relations answer is, you know, what you write your book and then let them turn it into a movie they turn it into. But nobody who can really hunker down and bang on a book with the sort of pain that it takes to write a book, then to have it taken away and turned into something else. Even if you wrote the screenplay, mm -hmm. it, it, what is that process like for you to watch your thing that I, oh no, God, there it goes. Uh, it's, a, it's a complicated one. Now, Election was not so complicated because it was an unpublished book and it, you know, the movie gave it a life and the movie was great. I, you know, I, I think the movie is kind of amazing. And as you say, it was kind of a, a an, an, you know, an amazing surprise. Nobody knew what Reese Witherspoon could do. Very few people knew what Alexander Payne could do. Matthew Broderick showed a side of his acting nobody else had. It was a bit of a resurgence for Matthew Broderick, It really I think. was. And, and the movie's profile has only increased over, you know, the, the ten years that it's been out. Um, Little Children, of course, I was down in the trenches with Todd. We collaborated. I saw how certain choices got made, you know, what it meant to have a, you know, the studio was great, but they also, they have their own agenda, their budgetary questions, there are all kinds of questions. So I saw how the sausage got made, and that was a, a little bit hard. Um, they say once you see the sausage get made, you'll never eat it again. So <laughs> I keep eating it. <laughs> you keep eating it. Leftovers, um, as, a, as a movie, I think it might even work better as a TV series. That's how we're going to do it. Is it really yet? Yeah, I'm um, developing it with HBO. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. And are they going to take the proper story, or, or, they, or do they want an angle of it they want to develop? Oh, you know, we're, we're, we're exploring that now. I mean, to me, the great thing about HBO and long-form TV is that uh, you don't have to compress and cut and force a big narrative into uh, a small box. You know, it has to fit into two hours regardless of, of what it is. So we can let it breathe. Now, the book takes place three years after this rapture-like event. Um, and I think that the show could start earlier, that a lot of stuff that's treated in flashback could be drawn out and, and uh, we could enter the story a little bit earlier.